What's up, YouTube? Crypto Weirdo from ntkcrypto.news here. Coming to you real quick with some, man, borderline embarrassing um, information, right? Crypto Kitties. Crypto Kitties is the, is the mainstream blockchain meets viral kids i don't know just mainstream meets the block strange blockchain and it makes a, a, a game like it's a trading card game basically except for the difference is your cats could be bred and have babies and you could also put your cats on the marketplace um to basically pimp them out and stud fee them out just like if you're a, a dog or cat breeder the difference is this is a smart contract based so you purchase your cat and then like let's say this cat because i bought this cat last night so i bought this cat last night i went and checked it out and the reason i got this cat was because if you notice your cat attributes here your cat's attributes it doesn't say um basic so it was one of the earliest ones I could find is a Gen Zero and Basic. So how many Gens are there? There's up 20 plus Gens now. So Gen Zero is going to be cats that don't have parents, right? So you could come to the uh, marketplace, select Gen Zero, check for new cats here, neck new kitties, and voila, here's the new cats. If you notice these two cats right here, these are two of the rarest Gen Zeros you could find. And it does say new, and they are 2.14 and 2.17 Ethereum. Except if you click on them, and you click buy now, and say, okay, I understand, I want to buy this, this kitty's already been sold. So then we go to the other one, buy now, buy this kitty, this kitty's already been sold. So when they come out, you got to get on it. Now, oh, full disclosure, I happen to be the person that bought this cat right here. It's not in my um, belongings yet, but it's in there. So I'm excited. I think that cat's going to be worth money. Will people really pay money for this? Yes. This cat right here, before I went to bed last night, I put him up on the sire block. So he wanted to be a dad. And uh, what happened was this individual right here had this cat and they bred to my cat and they paid a little bit over half of an ethereum um, for that breeding where it was kind of wasted if you ask me is if you come to her cat or his cat's attributes here this totes basic I try to stay away from now why did I pick basic well one yeah it sounds not cool but if you go over here and look at searchable tags see this totes basic is the most common attribute 150,000 cats have that granite gray is the second most common attribute kitten cream so yeah we do have some of these um, but I stayed away from the totes basic now if you come down here and you noticed a mur there's only two cats out here boom those are the only two cats in all of crypto kitties that has this trait so that's why i think i'm excited to have one i think our stud fees could be you know two to five ethereum each stud fee with this cat so i'm definitely going to be putting that out there i'm also going to breed it to this cat right here and if you notice so here's this cat it's okay's fresh brew so i'm original kitties um, so OK's Fresh Brew is my cat, um, and it has two children. This is the first child it had. This was one I paid a stud fee just to see how it works last night. So I paid a stud fee, and I selected this lemon-colored cat. So let's see here. See, his breed now price 0 0.075 Ethereum. And here's his uh, attributes. None of them said the totes basic. 
So that was my number one choice. One I could afford, and then one that didn't say totes basic on it. So, you know, that is Crypto Kitties. So, like I said, these start coming out um, on the marketplace, Gen Zero Kitties. Every 15 minutes it says right here, check that out. So you can click this, check every 15 minutes, see what comes up next. That being said, when they do show up, I mean, that's going to stop every 15 minutes for a year. Um, so Gen Zero, you know, in the, in the year, if this stays viable, could be worth a pretty penny, um, especially rare cats. You know, if you ask me, I cannot believe I'm talking about this. Honestly, this is pretty dumb, but it's pretty catchy, especially if you catch wind of it early, um, which I feel, you know, it's just started in November, so we're a couple weeks into it. It's been going. It's uh, Crypto Kitties has successfully been the first, um, I guess you could say, game on the blockchain. It's been very effective, and they're going into the mobile. So if this starts going into the mobile unit, and if they could add some kind of an interaction with the cat, um, kind of like maybe a Sims or you know, I don't even know. I know like kids like this game called Animal Jam, which I also believe is one of the stupidest wastes of time in the world, where it's like a social media platform with animals. So if they're able to create something like that into the, the crypto space and it does go viral, this could be huge. Could fall flat on its face too. So, um, you know, two Ethereum, that's a lot of Ethereum to put on one cat. But when these little kids today that don't know any other currency except for cryptocurrency, when they grow up in a world that doesn't have cash, doesn't have the dollar, you know, this is, you know, potentially going to be huge. This is the original uh, version and you have the opportunity to buy original cats right now for two Ethereum or less. Like you could go get a basic one. Go Gen Zero. Watch this cheapest first. All right, these are all cats that want to sire. So you could purchase these siring. Let's see if we could find some cats for sale. Uh, here we go. This cat's for sale right now, Gen Zero. But it's been bred. You see this plotting right here? What's that mean? If you go to filter kitties, these are how fast they recover from breeding. So let's click on the plotting one. This means, look, they've had several cats. His recovery's slow. Let's go look at here. See, this is their cooldown rate. So after the kitty breeds with another kitty, it will be temporarily unable to breed again for a brief period of time. God, I, again, I can't believe we're talking about this right now. Um, here's the time it takes to recover. So when you can breed again. So at first, you know, crap, I'll just leave it there. At first you have fast. It just takes a minute. How many cats until it goes down? I don't know. Maybe it depends on how quick you breed or or whatnot. I really have no idea yet. Um, so fast, one minute, swift, two to five. You could read there. Uh, 10 to 30 minutes. This cat takes four to eight hours. So do you want to spend four to eight hours on this cat to get new kitties? Um, yeah, that's up to you. I'm looking for something that says snappy or fast or the youngest. So if you get to the youngest cats, these are ones that were just um, created. Um, I guess some were born. Well, I'm on Gen Zero, so they're all Gen Zero. But these are the ones that were created most recently. So two of these cats came at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Um, the problem with that is the younger they are, the more expensive they are. So here you go. This is 1.7, 1.6, 1.6, uh, 1.4. This guy's already sold. These two are already sold. These two are already sold. Um, Let's see what their attributes are. No basic, right? So that's pretty cool. So I got to catch that. Man, y'all be blessed. This is like an intro to Crypto Kitties. Again, uh, can't believe I was really talking about that, but we were.